Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So we are now Harlan of the Rose Road. We're one years old and we have a regent who continually takes our title. So uh, it's a lot of fun. Let's see what we got. Uh, Blueburn are changing taxes. We could have taken their land but we don't... Didn't quite have enough time. The Iron Throne Belanti Embargo War ended inconclusively. I didn't know there was a war but okay. That's fine. Uh, Cedric of the Westlands died in the dungeons of uh, Theomor of Westlands, so that's uh, Peasbury. So that's the old uh, controller of the Westlands. He's now dead. Uh, Tybalt Lannister founded the Jamie Lannister faction. The Westlands. Uh, people are being released. Withers. Now I recognise Wither Withers from somewhere. Ah, married to our grandfather. Okay. That explains it. People being looted. Yes, that's a lot that was looted actually. Ah, my lord, his grace King Willis has seen fit to name Albar Middlebury, Lord Paramount of the Reach. He, his sons, grandsons, shall hold the honour, uh, shall hold and enjoy his honours until the ends of time, and all lords of the Reach shall pay him homage, homage as their rightful liege. Our liege is now Lord Paramount Albar, who was, who is married to our aunt. Okay, our aunt has a weak claim on the High Lordship of Caucus Went, so hopefully he doesn't press that. He's also a tyrant. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, hopefully that's uh, not too bad. Uh, I mean, he's still... He's not a Tyrell, which is a positive. I've decided to institute minimum uh, realm authority law in the Kingdom of the Reach. Sure, why not? We're one years old. What, what are we going to say? Wait, are we two? We're two years old. It's an important distinction. But, uh, yes. We're not going to say very much against it. Um... Everything seems very quiet. I expect the Mountain and Vale are going to have some fun very soon. I just want to find their top one. They're kind of losing most of their wars by the looks of it. Oh no, it's in favour of the person. She's losing some of her wars, but I think she might actually manage to hold on to all of her titles. That'd be surprising. Crown Loyalist faction. There's a, pe a couple of peasants revolts declared. Alright. Cool. Be being released from other people's dungeons. No one else we can righteously imprison. We have a lot of weak claims we could press. Uh, on Dorn, Wild, and also on Old Town we could press for some of the Ashfords. Okay. We're not going to do it, but we could. We're not going to do it because we're two years old. Uh, my lord, thank you for having me in your household these past years. Uh, I must serve a higher purpose now. Lord Paramount Albar has accepted me into his service and I must leave for Middlesbury immediately. Uh, yours, Sir Arnold. Oh, alright. He's gone. That was quick. I just noticed that Highgarden's no longer under the, Ty the Tyrells. Interesting. But yeah, that guy was only in our court for literally a couple of years. So, uh, he's gone now. He's not important. To all my subjects, I've decided to offer... All I can to To all my subjects, I've decided to offer all I can to you as your master, and that I would be better serve the realm by taking the black and joining the Night's Watch, so I hereby abdicate in favour of my heir, Besslin Buckwell. Who was Walden? What did he What did Walden hold? Um The City of Fosbury? Oh right, so he was just one of our people. And Buckwell is if I'm not mistaken. So that would be City of Fosbury. Are the Buck... Wait, that's not even true. Okay, whatever, something happened. That was a weird event. Don't need to worry about it. It's not our problem. We have a different vassal. Mm, two years old. Probably very interested in, uh, you know, wandering around the keep for a while. To my Lord Lord Harlan. To my Lord Lord Harlan. I write this letter to inform you of a great threat. Lord Paramount Albor is not the child of Sir Humphrey at all, but the product of adultery on the part of his mother and another man. I urge all good lords of the realm to take arms against this deception. Signed, Sir Norman of House Brightwater, Courier Brightwater. So it's a Foz it's a Fozaway plot. So you say we knew. Albor looks nothing like his father. That is true. I mean, his father has this really weird mustache thing, and he has this full-on beard. 
What would we choose? So I'm assuming that the Red Lake are also with us as our Malar Blueburn, if we say this. We are, of course, two years old. So, what does our Regent think about this? Well, our Regent is lustful. He's no longer ambitious. I think I saw him being ambitious, but maybe he never was. Maybe he was always gregarious. Or maybe now he's taking his titles. He's happy with his lot in life. Um, he wants to become exalted among men. Hmm. All lies, of course. There's no reason to do anything, yeah. No reason to join a war. Basically. Yeah, there's also no war right now. Okay. Sir Dwyan accepted Miranda of the peace offer. So that was a peasant's revolt ended. Cool. The bard some changed uh, law. I just remembered something. Need to mark that guy's special interest because he's new. Uh, we all need to also need to set the uh, Middlebury special interest because he's new. Cool. Uh, depose Queen Miranda faction. E imprisoned a Brax. Okay. Uh, weak claims can be pressed. Title lost in succession. Yes, yes. All of that good stuff. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, Lord Ian of Newkeep has usurped the title Lordship of Scorchfail from Sir Gustin Aaron. Alright. Mountain of Vale still looks pretty fractured. To be fair. Lots of people being released from dungeons because we're kind of... Uh, at the end of a war. Do we have her marked? We don't. Alright. Quickly mark her. Liege loyalist factions. All sorts of good stuff. Tax is changing. Yep. Prince Yigen for the Iron Throne faction. Uh, wait. Not for the Iron Throne. For the uh, Iron Isles faction. As si uh, my lord, the tragic news is Holiness Sai Septim has passed away. The gods losing a worldly avatar. Yep. That's going to happen. How many men do the Tyrells even have now? 130,000. All from vassals, but still. Wow. Okay. A lot of, uh, you know, exiling and stuff. Everyone's just cleaning out their courts, getting the people they want in charge. Uh, we could righteously imprison. Yeah. Are we three yet? Oh, we're a three-year-old. Um, we're probably quite good at walking around now. Maybe start talking a little bit. Uh, new Lord Commander on the wall. Night gathers, now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. Take no wife, hold no lands, found no children, wear no crowns, win no glory. Live and die at my post, I am the sword in the darkness. Watch around the walls, fire that burns against the cold, light that brings in the dawn. Horn the weight sleeper, shield that guards the realms of man. I pledge my life and honor to night's watch for this night and all nights to come. So it's now Gwen nothing of the night's watch. Cool. That's, uh, something. Not a lot really going on there. More people being released from dungeons. Hmm. Lord Brian the Fat has uh, founded the Crown Loyalist faction. Let's have a look at factions. So there's some Leech Lord... Oh, that faction disappeared. Almeric uh, Flowers. No idea why I care. But yeah, Leech Loyalist faction here for the Kingdom has uh, quite a lot of strength. That's for our Kingdom of the Reach, and there's also... Our Spymaster has the Leech Loyalist faction for us, which is nice. At least if he's going to steal all our titles, he can at least be loyal about it. I mean, I suppose he thinks that he, um... If I look at his opinion, he probably likes us because of it, right? Yeah, he likes us a lot because we granted him a Lordship, technically. Although he granted it to himself. I'm starting to feel bad for, uh the uh, Lord Paramount we did that to. Alright. We four? Ah, uh, we're still three. When's our birthday? Our birthday is... 14th of August. Alright, cool. Well, uh, I think when we're five, we start to get interesting events, so... Fun happening there. I'm going to speed up the game. Peasants Revolt. Yeah, it's going to look a little bit framey, but I think it's worth... Uh, Speeding it up. Just to, like, get uh, past some of this uh, being a child and not actually being able to do very much uh, section. I mean, we could go to war with someone, technically, but we don't actually have enough of an army to do anything, so 
and there's no reason to go to war. Uh, yes, yes. Lots of uh, wars ending. Looks like uh, Mountain and Vale will not be falling apart. I'm going to zoom out. Oh, that's a nice big fight. The Westlands. Cool. And we're just going to let see things pop back underneath each other. Uh, your septum reports from nearby all charity work on your behalf is proceeding well. The poor being fed your pious standing has improved. Yep. Uh, crossing appears to be independent. They are. Okay, cool. Josman accepted... Oh, so that's the peasant revolt ended. Cool. How's the north looking? Pretty normal. Okay. Another embargo war just ended randomly. Without it actually starting. Cool. Yep, another one en ended inconclusively. Uh, child lacks a guardian, so our sister needs to be have a guardian. Uh, yep. Judging by Lord Edmund's uh, previous things, that's the guardian. Uh, Lady Tanya of the Reach was executed by Storm Queen Revelia of the Stormlands. So Lady Tanya uh, Tyrell was executed. She held the Lordship of Blue Grove. Okay, cool. Executing Tyrells probably isn't the best way to get the Iron Throne to like you, uh, Stormlands. My liege, Lord Paramount Albar, has acquired a new bannerman, it seems, for he's agreed to give refuge to the House of Whitecliff, who were previously landed and exiled. Andros of Whitecliff, the head of my house, has been named Lord of Appleton, swearing eternal fealty to House Middlebury. He's been granted what? The Lord of A Wait, was that not ours? So of Whitecliff, wait, this was ours, right? No, that was his. Okay, that's fine. I think I was getting it mixed up. I think that was potential. I think we did a war for it at one point. But yeah, he's now got a new house of Whitecliff, which is a bastard house. But that's fine. We can righteously imprison the master again. Nope, don't care. Or at least our regent doesn't care. We're four. Oh. Ah, uh, Independence War ended in white peace. Cool. More people being released from dungeons. Bravos lost a lot of land over here. They used to hold all of this, but now they only control uh, the top half, which they controlled at the start. Mm -hmm. Um, Lord Manfred the Qualerer has declared the Princess Pass War for Bentford's claims on Dorn on Princess Fruella the Prudent. Oh, so there's a war for Dorn. What's he control? Princess Pass. Yeah, that's reasonable. Cool. Yeah, that's a lot of land. Uh, people being released from other people's dungeons. Dorcas died of poor health. Dorcas, not important. Yes. Uh, people being released from other people's dungeons. Peasants revolt. What can you do? There's going to be lots of those. I didn't notice the Stormlands controlled that kind of tip up there. Cool. Kind of surprised that the Tyrells haven't declared war on anyone now that they're in charge. I suppose they've had a lot of peasants' revolts, though. Uh, yep, yeah, peasants' revolts ending. Is he now... Is he actually an adult? Ah, he's, he still needs things to be approved by his regent. That's why there's no wars. It's time for me to receive a proper education. Life is full of opportunities. What will I become? Our father decides our future. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'll be groomed for command, apparently. But I get to choose how much we spend on it. Well, our father would spend as much as he can. That's my logic. Incompetent military, military ruler is no longer affecting us. Well, that's good, I suppose. Uh, Castley Rock. Lord Horace of Castley Rock usurped the Lordship of Tendring from Peacebury. So the Braxes are now in charge of Castley Rock again. Cool. They might get their Westlands back. Winter is coming. Yep, that happens a lot. Uh, Greyjoys are being imprisoned, presumably because they had factions trying to take over the land. People being released in dungeons, more revolts. C16 yet? Ah, he's still 15. Uh, exciting things are going to happen when he hits 16. We're also going to get educated roughly at the same time. That'd be nice. Uh, probably educated by our, our spy master again, if I had to, if truth be told. Lord Manfred the Quarreler Quarreler accepted Prince Fula the Peace. Yeah, he lost it. 
I never need to say his name again. Oh well. Uh, people being released from dungeons. Yep, lots of dungeon ransoms. More people being released. Raiders. I like this going super quick. It's like, what's what's happening next? Ransoms. Uh, what's the date? July. Oh, we're about to uh, be educated. Right there, we go. Child likes guardian. I would like to be educated by probably Lord Edmund. He's our regent. He gets to decide. He also takes all of our land. So, you know, I, I'm just treating him like he appears to be. He's a person who wants power. Although he's not ambitious, he, he probably already has power, but he wants. He probably likes being in control. Would be my guess. Uh, yep. Peasants' revolts ending. More people being imprisoned. The Middlebury's are imprisoning a lot of people. Presumably, getting rid of revolts. Won't be a revolt against us because we're just kind of we're chill. And presumably, he might like us. Wait, let's have a look here. That's just state diplomacy. My lord, your sister Janie is most uncooperative, and she is not responding well to my tuition. She doesn't seem to listen, and her skills have regressed. If anything, well, that's not good. She also, she's also uh, has pneumonia. Anyone notice that? Well, she's going to be dead. Limited realm authority. Sure, why not? We're uh, six. I don't think we really care very much. Uh, weak claims can be pressed. Yep. Was well, that a claim for Fossaway? That was Dinah Fossaway. Dinah of Starpike. Oh, wrong Fossaway. Oh well. What? What can you do? Yep, more wars that aren't really happening. He's 16 now. He can go and declare war on anyone. He has claims on High Garden, which he probably won't press, but he should also have a natural kind of way to declare war on the Stormlands and the Mountain Vale. Septon Russell is no longer our Septum, because he's presumably dead, or just a car. So, we need somebody who has diplomacy. That'd be Liza, captain of our household guard. Seems sensible. And she can go fabricate claims in Old Town. Wait. Old Town, yeah, that's fine. I just noticed this here, but that that the little symbol just means that there is somewhere that the set that um most devout control. Talking of most devout, they appear to be uh, under the Stormlands now, right? Wait, are they? He he lost his land. He's now landless? Wait, the most devout. Oh, yeah, they only control this. Okay, they only control the Starry Sept now. Interesting. As the Stormlands just took the land from them at one point. And I totally missed it. Cool. I stand head and shoulders above other children. Why should I pretend otherwise? It's the truth. We're proud. Okay, let's see what our regent thinks about that. He appears to be alright with that. Cool. Yeah, basically whenever we get an event for a random trait, our regent has an option, I think, to... Like, they'll have an event saying, we can try and get rid of it, or something. But I guess he's just like, it's alright. Lord Harlan, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a law changing the rules of succession in the Iron Throne. Succession shall now be uh, agnatic cognatic. Okay. His heir is actually... Wait a second. That's weird. Uh, there's also Lord Damon Dane, as declared for Old Town. Wait, what? I need to look at that again, actually. I didn't realise that was important. The Uplands War for Old Town. Now, she only controls the High Lordship of Old Town. Lord Is this for the... Lordship? It's for the High Lordship. Oh, cool. They might not control all their land soon. It means that they would only control the High Lordship of Mandervale. Which they can't control... Wait... So he takes the High Lordship, so he'll control the Lordship of Old Town. And the High... Which will be the High Lordship of Mandervale. Okay. Cool. That's weird. Uh, people accepting their call to arms. Alright. Crown Loyalist factions are happening. Cool. How old are we? Six. Go, we'll be seven in a month. Woo. Few taxes have changed. Cool. We kind of want more children events to happen. We need to have lots more of those. Uh, white peace. Wait. Yeah, white peace. 
Frosting appears to just be independent, like just fully independent. A revolt against the rule. Cool. Wars for the Mountain of Vale. Mountain of Vale is soon going to just fall apart. Rosebury is in that war. Cool. Um, transfer the vassal contract of Time and Lannister to Mina Fossaway. Cool. Uh, Dornish claim on Night Song War. So Dorn and um, the Stormlands are at war. We can righteously imprison Maribald of Bard's home. What's he trying to do? Maribald of Bard's home is seeking to replace Lord Edmund and become regent. Now, assuming that we are Lord Edmund, we have just taken all of this land. We're a powerful fellow. We're the strongest person, one of the strongest people in the entirety of the Reach. We're educating both of the, um, the Fosaway children. We've got so much. We've had so much power. And we're a schemer. The first thing that he's going to do when he sees that someone of Bard's home is seeking to become regent is he's going to imprison them. That's just what's going to happen. So, he would probably send our Master Arms to Maribald. Maribald being in Bard's home. He would send our Master of Arms to suppress the revolt, increase the, the arrest chance. He would then attempt to arrest them. He has now raised his flag in rebellion. He would then raise up all the troops and he would try and win it. He would do this because he is not trying to get the rightful outcome. He's trying to get the outcome that keeps him as regent. This is my logic. I, that's fair logic. Do we have enough commanders? Or do we need to put more people in charge? Um, we have Axel. We have Garth. We need one more commander. Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. He'd probably just put whoever was best in charge. Assuming there is actually anyone who's good. He could... You know what? He'll be in charge himself. No, he won't. Because he is our counsellor. And I always forget that. Uh, we have so many craven people in our court. Uh, I guess he'd then... How about Alan of Starpike? There we go. Let's see. Are we going to catch him? Get there on 15th of December. There's a really cool thing in um, Europa of Alice 4 now, actually, where it'll tell you if you're going to catch someone. I don't know if it's in Conclave, but it's definitely a good uh, feature. Yeah, we caught him. Yeah, he's just so dead. Bedwick Baratheon died under suspicious circumstances. Cool. He's killed most. We've killed most of the uh, Fosaway men here. Now he wants to enforce his demands. Let's go over there. Capture Bardsome. There we go. Get all of our men on top of it. And then probably assault it down. 100% war score, offer our peace. Expand our men. He's now in. Wait, is he not in prison there? He's imprisoned by Lord Aswell of Haystwick. Can we ask for him? Haystwick's just like, nah, he's, he, he's mine. He's my prisoner. Okay. Well, that's weird. Are you, are you gonna give him back? Oh. He just released them. I guess we try again. Uh, wait a couple of seconds for him to get back to where he belonged. Yeah, let's try again. Right, then we imprisoned him. Well, let's say that Hayswick brought him back. Now what? Well, he would probably... Now, just my guess... He would probably, probably banish him to the Night's Watch. Probably wouldn't execute him. He'd just get rid of him. Mirabold falls away. Now very far away. His title went to an Aaron. Jasper Aaron. 
And, uh, yes. And that got rid of the problem. And Mina Fazaway won her war, presumably because uh, she had a lot of allies that they didn't really take into consideration. How old are we now? We're seven still. Cool. Can't wait to be old enough to actually do something. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to this being updated for... That was interesting. Uh, for this to be updated for Conclave, because being a child really sucks. Need a new spy master. Wait, who's our new regent? We'll wait a day. Our new regent is... Master Palace of Harvestway. Okay. Well, what are we going to do? Well, I think we could get a new spy master. Spy master, presumably someone who likes us. Does anybody like us? No. No, nobody likes us. Cool. So probably then, if nobody likes us, just the best? Our new Lord of Bard's home, perhaps? We can scheme in our capital. He does not like us at all. Short range. Yeah. Okay. Two children lack guardians. Well, our new regent is ambitious. So presumably, he would just educate us himself. Oh dear. Wait, he's in a plot? What's his plot? To buy Master Lucas's, uh, Master Lucas's, um, loyalty? Hmm, okay. So you would just educate, uh, us yourself? And then you would... Oh! Then our Maester got put in charge. Maester is diligent, envious, honest, Jack. He's honest? My god, he's honest. He... Wait. Our Regent Mas Maester Garrett decided to go through your newly acquired domains titles and dispute them uh, to existing or new vassals in order to beat your uh, burden of government. Okay. He gave Legold Keep to who? Who did you give that to? Oswell Flowers. Okay. We now need a new Just Car. Um, okay. No, I'm just working out where things are going. If he's our regent, he would probably... Ed Wait. He would choose... He is honest and diligent. He would choose the best person available. Cool. We need someone who would groom us for command. Uh, so it has to be someone who is... Um... In our core, almost. Or in our vassals. So we need a man. Who's not in prison. I say we don't need a man. We need any, any. Wait, can't be in prison. Can't be married. Can be a ruler. My religion, my culture group, is an adult. Is a hundred percent yes. Then we are looking for somebody who has high learning and probably high martial. Herbert Allison. She'll do. She can educate us. She can also educate our sister. I don't want this window to be open. There we go. Wait a couple of days. Wait a couple of days for that to be cancelled. You can also then educate our sister. JD. There we go. Good. All of that is done. Are we eight yet? We're still seven. Uh, there's a Peasants Revolt for, uh, what's it called? The Iron Isles. Cool. Cool. Lots of looting going on. Lots and lots of looting going on. Oh, we still have an open council position. Just a car. Uh, that can be held by... Well, it'd be our regent, so just choose the best. But you presumably best with a... Focus on... I don't know. You just choose the best. There we go. Let's not do fo focusing on stuff. Let's choose the best. And they can go and do all the other regions we're doing. Oh, and we can now send him to stop improving uh, 
Arrest chance. Now we go back to training children. Right. Cool. Elective succession in the Iron Throne faction. Um, we'll see how that goes for you. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, council most devout. Uh, usurping titles. Uh, some Aaron's usurping assert, uh, usurping some titles. Jonas the seducer is usurping a title. Cool. Uh, Ashfords were imprisoned there by our liege. There's a peace offer. Wait. Oh, that's that was, I was reading the wrong one. I read Iron Throne again. I should have read uh, Iron Isles. Yep. Cool. Quint wait, whoa. I recognize that one. Quentin of the Arbor. Oh, he's the Ash Quentin Ashford, yes. I'm I was sure I recognized that. Crown Loyalist faction. Cool. Ooh, lots of fun stuff happening, and we're only eight. Yeah, uh Tyrell is now known as the Beggar King. Oh, is he poor? Is he like really poor right now? Oh, wow. He is really poor. He has no money. That's why they've not been going to war. He, he he just has no money. He wants to become a knight as well. To the foul tadpole, Harlan. Tales of your misdeeds are told from the arbor to Ashai. This is a formal declaration of war. Our armies shall meet in the field of battle. Who are we at war with now? The Red Lake Rose War does your war over Bard's home. So you have declared on us for Bard's home. You have 15,000 men. We also have 15,000 men. Does he have any allies? He has a lot of allies. Do we have any allies? No. Leash, save us. Please. Also, uh, let's raise up all of our men and try and win this. To New Barrel. Alright. Lord Harlan. Whilst I assure you you have your support against the aggression of Randall Crane, I'm afraid I am powerless to stop him. He's ignored my request to cease hostilities, and you are now on your own. Regards, Lord Hand, Lord Randall of House Crane. How useless. Yeah, exactly. Useless. Anyone else joined his war? He's alone. Well, that is a small mercy. Someone just joined his war, didn't they? Mallor of Blueburn joined? Oh no, Mallor Uller. How could you do this to us? Well, we'll merge, we'll merge you up. Maybe we should try and beat the others first? Hmm, you can't separate peace though, so there might not be any point. Might just want to try and stop them from joining. 16,000 men. We need a new person. A new commander, don't we? But do we have enough? Wait, our captain of the household guard is... We no longer have a captain of the household guard? What happened to her? What was it? Liza Roseworth? She's gone? Uh, I'm kind of interested. She is now just a car at Lake Old Keep. Oh, she, she left us for her husband. Wait. Hmm. That's not her husband. That's not who her husband was. She must have remarried. Okay, new captain of the household guard is now Mace. Mace, congratulations. Oh, we already have enough people. We have a septum who can join. He's not very good at fighting, though. Let's put Mace in charge. Um, Mace seems like a good option. He has Craven, though. How about Jasper? Jasper can be in charge. There we go. No, he can't, because he is one of our... Uh, Alright. <sighs> He's on the council. Um, You're a knight. Rickard. Rickard, you are now in charge. Okay, you're going to Bard's home. You'll arrive on the 19th of April. Wait till the 18th? Oh, well, never mind. Let's wait till the 19th, because it was going too quickly. I want this fight. No, I don't. I want this fight. Let's slow it down. On the 28th, we're going to turn around. 
Holy hull. Then we're gonna kill him there. We also should probably get some mercenaries. How much money are we making a month? Negative money a month, so probably not get don't get someone who's don't get multiple people who are too expensive, just get one. Let's um hire Donis. I probably see, Oh, we can sort by total strength. Find someone who's within our pay grade. Yeah, it'd probably be like Edric Stormbreakers or Donis. Which one's stronger? Well, he has a lot more heavy infantry, but apart from that, they're fairly equal. Yeah, okay, we'll hire him. He can join us. Let's uh, see if we can win it. 13th of May. We're not going to catch him. Oh, no. If we go back this way... Yeah, we're just not going to catch him. Hmm. Interesting. Where do we want to go? Probably... Let's go to Starpike. We could always go for one of their titles. Just rush for it, like... The Grassy Vale or something. Or actually, what's his main title? His main title is the High Lord of a Red Lake... Then the Lordship of High Gar Lordship of Red Lake. So if we could get around there. See if we can head over. This seems like a war we want. This seems like a battle we want. Yeah, we want this battle. Old Town is declared. The Old Town claim on Hunt Hills War on Runtsford of Hunt Hills. Okay. We won a battle. Cool, let's win another one. Let's just quickly get in here. We should catch him. I don't feel well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running and my head feels as if something is banging against it. Oh, come on. We don't want to die. Dying is bad. Okay. We start with more men. They won't reinforce for nine days. They have no leader on this flag. We should be able to win this. Let's see how it goes. They are taking a lot of casualties. We're taking more in the center, though. I don't know why we're taking so much. Is he a really good... Oh, he's a really good lead. Uh, he's a super good uh, military leader. Do you want to just retreat? Probably not. Just wait it out. Oh, we should have checked if the uh, mercenaries had anyone better for us. So their two side flanks are losing a lot, but our center is going to really suffer. Their side flank is losing a lot more now. This flank's going to fall apart. If it falls apart before this army arrives, we might actually just straight up win. So we now got a flanking bonus. They're taking as many da uh, casualties as we are in the center. There we go. We lost the flank. Okay. We're going to lose the battle before the 16,000 e the 6, even arrive. Maybe. Although we are still getting the flanking bonus. Oh, he, he joined and instantly retreated as his flank. I, he's not... It's not actually in the fight. They all join the center. Uh, we might just lose, though. We lost. Okay, run. See if we can get out of here with some troops. Um, did we have anyone better to lead? We did. Oh, no. Um, right, we'll put... You, we'll put you in charge of that flank. Uh, Donis the Wicked was fine. I think he's fine. Axel is probably fine as well. I don't think there's any way for our army to survive unless we can make it to Smallwood. Or at least get them to fight us over the river. Oh, he didn't follow us? He didn't follow us, but I don't think we have enough men to He's not following. Oh, great. We'll go to Smallwood. We're going to rush to uh, his his main title. See if we can get out of here. Yeah, we're going to rush to his main title and try and uh, assault it down. Right. Go to Old Oak. Is there any hills or anything? It's all plains. Oh, it's awful. 
Perfect, we'll head up there. I think this episode's been going on a little long, but we'll keep going. This war is pretty important in terms of our survival. I mean, it's not really, it's just Bard's home, but, you know, it's reasonably important. We're going to speed it up as well. Now that we're not trying to uh, like focus on combat. Right, Red Lake. The people I grew up with, I feel we bonded over the years. So, Risling, Arwen Flowers, and another Rise. Who's Risling? House Risling controls the Castle of Waypress, which is in Cider Hall. Okay. Red Lake. I guess we just siege it down and hope that we can get it before they can get New Barrel. Because they're going for Cider Hall first, which is a bit of a mistake. Old Town gets grown. Okay. Let's just keep going. Are we going to get this? 12 days. I don't think that's unreasonable. We could possibly get this. Pipping released from dungeons. Uh, lots of dungeon releasing going on. Cool. All of them being released from Lord Almerick the Careless's dungeon. Cool. Oh, you're coming to fight us. In Red Lake, which is Plains, you have a better leader. I think we continue. My logic is we are as strong as we are ever going to be. I just need to check our leaders. Donis seems like a good choice. Now, who do we want in the center? We want whoever is the best in the center. Because here he's going to be facing off against their stuff. I think we might want Donis in the center. Because of his dual skill. Hmm. Okay, we're going to put Donis in the center. We're then going to put Axel on this flank, I think. I mean, he has a lot of good traits, but not... It might just be best to put 19 Marshall in charge. Maybe we'll put this guy in charge. 16 Marshall. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it. I'm ready for the fight. We're no longer ill. Fantastic. Oh, we just got the Wow. Wait, that's his flank. Isn't it? Yeah, this flank just got destroyed, but our center flank fell apart. He is, he is such a good leader. I mean, we get flanking bonus, but so does he. We're now going to take so much damage on this flank. Unless this flank can win super quick, we, lo we lost. Yeah. 100%. Might as well surrender. Oh, get rid of the mercenaries. There we go. Surrender. Done. Surrender before we lose all of our men. Lord Jasper is no longer Spymaster because he's under someone else. The Azure War for Bard's home is over and he accepted our peace offer. We now have a Azure claim for Rosefort. Oh, that's still the same one. Uh, we have an open council position. Spymaster. How about we put Alan in charge and he can scheme. Right, we'll get all of our men back to uh, friendly territory, then we'll disband them. Let's get over there. Inchfield, I think, is friendly. Yep. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.